हसल असल ये हसल असल साला मुंबई शहर अच्छे अच्छों को देता मसल हसल असल ये हसल असल सपनों की नगरी ये छोड़ना कोई कसर हसल असल ये हसल असल साला मुंबई शहर अच्छे अच्छों को देता मसल हसल असल ये हसल असल सपनों की नगरी ये छोड़ना कोई कसर काली पीली खड़ी बार तू हाथ दे मीटर डाउन चल रस्ते ना प्ले थोड़े समय यहाँ सबर से काम ले आंखों से ज्यादा सड़कों पे सपने जान ले आसमानों पे नजर बह रहे किधर रखा पैर उधर से शुरू सफर कितने आए कितने गए कौन रखेगा हिसाब क्योंकि सारे जानते हैं ना 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 लोकल में धक्के नहीं धक्कन में लोकल नहीं मधुर संगीत ये वो कर पानी ये गहरा ये गहरा तुरुप ना मसील से नजर मार शहर एक लोकल है मैं धक्के नहीं धक्कन में लोकल शोर नहीं मधुर संगीत ये वो कल है पानी ये गहरा तुरुप ना मसील से नजर मार शहर एक लोकल है yes go one time for call me bay let's go Hey, hey, hey! Hustle, hustle, yeah, hustle, hustle. Sala Mumbai, shehar, achhe achho ko de ta masal. Hustle, hustle, yeah, hustle, hustle. Sapno ki nagri ye chhod na koi kasar. Hustle, hustle, yeah, hustle, hustle. Sala Mumbai, shehar, achhe achho ko de ta masal. Hustle, hustle, yeah, hustle, hustle. Sapno ki nagri ye chhod na koi kasar. Let's go. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. So much. Thank you so much, Ravan, and thank you so much, Rajo. That was so much fun, and that is a track called Mumbai Hustle. A uh, round of applause for them again, please. We'll see you on the other side. Thank you so much. Of course, we're here for Call Me Bay, aren't we? It is a light-hearted comedy. You know, this guy could actually be like one of those rich, like brothers in the series. Nikhil, have you ever considered that? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're very excited about Call Me Bay. But as one of the creative forces behind the project, and as a viewer, what do you think is the most exciting thing about this series? Uh, firstly, thank you everyone for being here. I wanted to start by saying that our endeavor at Prime Video is really to tell very engaging stories, entertaining stories. But it's also important that uh, these are stories that can spark conversations. Uh, we've been fortunate that most of our shows have been able to do that, whether it's Family Man or Mirzapur, Patal Lok, Panchayat, Jubilee. And I think in that list, Call Me Bay is a fantastic new addition because it's going to do exactly that. Um, you know, it's a really, really charming story about this woman's uh, journey of self-discovery. It's extremely poignant. It's extremely funny, very bingeable, very exciting. So we're really looking forward to uh, this show. And uh, I think a huge amount of credit goes to Dharmatic Entertainment, our creative partners, who we absolutely enjoy collaborating with, uh, Karan, Apurva, Shomin. Uh, I must really call out uh, Ishita, who's the founder, who's the creator of this series, who's done such a brilliant job, and the writers, Samina and Rohit. Uh, and of course, you mentioned uh, Colin, who's brought a lot of refreshing energy to the direction. And when you see the trailer, you'll come to know, and later the series, it's, it's really, really good. Uh, but at the end of the day, the beating heart of this story is Ananya Pandey and the entire cast of Call Me Bay. They've absolutely done a phenomenal job. So really, really looking forward to bringing this story to everybody. And I can't wait for the trailer to get unveiled soon today. Well, thank you so much, Nikhil. I really didn't think that I could get even more intrigued by this. But now that you've said this to us, a lot of us in this audience, actually most of us, we're going to be the first ever audience that watches the trailer. So I'm very excited about that. But alongside you, of course, while you stay and give me company on this stage, I would now like to welcome the trailblazers who've not only shaped the landscape of Indian entertainment, but have also redefined the art of storytelling. Karan Johar and Somen Mishra, the executive producers behind Call Me Bay, and the OG hustlers behind the glamour. Yeah, there they are. Hi, how are you? I don't need to be here anymore, Karan, just please take over. You know, let, just respect, like, just do all of it because we learn from you. Oh, thank you. Well, first of all, I do want to say congratulations and let's ask you to tell us what we need to know about this show just before we all watch this trailer. Over to you. Uh, you need to know that it started with Karan Johar having a nightmare. If he wakes up without his designer bags, big <laughs> glasses and the jackets, what will happen? Jokes apart, uh, I, I mean, I think it's a fish out of uh, water trope, but the fish is different and the water is completely different. I think that much you need to know and then we'll play the trailer whenever we see it. Karan, 
Eris turns hustler, that's the vibe. I want to know what made you want to tell this story? Um, firstly, I have to say thank you so much. Thank you, Nikhil, and thank you to the entire team of Prime for homing and housing our show, Call Me Bay. Uh, we produce a lot of content at Dharma and Dharmatic, but I think Somain, who heads it all, I think really knows and understands that I am truly, truly passionate about this particular show. And I'll tell you because I think um, it was an idea that, you know, came out we, in some discussion we had. And then uh, we created the narrative and with the expertise of Ishita Moitra, who was the head writer of the series with Rohit and Samina guiding her along the process. Uh, everyone watches stories that are from rags to riches. This is from riches to rags. And uh, in, a, in a tone of humor, in a tone of irony, and also towards the end, a tone of empowerment. Depicted so beautifully by Ananya Pandey, I would go as far as saying that you have seen her in a lot of work and she has been growing from strength to strength, but this is by far her best work and will define her in the world of entertainment. And everyone is going to say, and I'm saying this like, you know, Danke ki chotpe. You're going to love Ananya Pandey. Um, this show, uh, you know, marks our tremendous collaboration with Prime Video. Um, you know, we've had so many, so many, so many successful associations, even in the series space with Love Story, which was one of the most acclaimed series that happened prior to this, and now we come out with Call Me Bay. We've had a bunch of amazing movies that we've done together, and um, this is really yet another step in the absolute right direction. Fantastic. And I have to add, we have an absolutely terrific ensemble. I can see all of them in the front row. I mean, like, literally all of them, Anne and Anya, together make the show what it is. Well, and they're all here. I'll end with something else. But I will say that after you have to say what you have to say. No, no, I, as I always say, that all of us do what we do because of you, Karan. So thank you so much for enabling <laughs> us. You don't even know it. No, no, thank uh, you. But I do know that we have a trailer to show them. But before that, I think Colin is somebody yes, that you... Well, I was going to say that. I, I was going to say that. So we have uh, a director, a series director, Colin DeCuna. And he is absolutely amazing. He's brought in that... Chutzpah, he's brought in the spunk, the emotion, the irony, and eventually the empowerment of the main lead and the ensemble. The, he's really enhanced the written word and the material. I keep telling him, I'm teasing him, he has directed one of the films in Love Story, but in many ways, I think Sovain will agree, this is his debut and this is his big launch. And you, if anyone who saw the initial announcement had, had a launch, that should have had, actually should have had Colin in it. Uh, because this is by far his big launch, and I'd love, love, love to invite him on stage. Colin Dikuna on stage, Woo! ladies and gentlemen. Woo, 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 woo. Thank you, thank you, Karan, thank you, everyone. Um, uh, thank you, everyone, for being here, and... I know everyone's waiting to watch the trailer, but I'm going to take some time to just thank everyone for the love that I've already received, um, you know, from Karan sir, from Somain, from Apurva sir, who's not here, from everyone at Prime Video, uh, Nikhil, Aparna, Prerna, the whole team. It is with that love and, um, you know, that faith that we made the show with a lot of love, Okay, and I want, and it's not just me, no show is made, no series can be made with just a director and cast. There is a huge crew, a huge crew that uh, went into making this show what it is and I want to just acknowledge the writers who are here, Ishita, Samina and Rohit. We have some of our HODs, uh, Ru and Joe who've done the music, uh, Pearl and everyone who couldn't be here. Uh, but uh, without uh, any more delay, presenting to you the trailer of Call Me Bay. Thank you! Thank you! Hello! Hello. Hi! How did trailer? Was it Okay, good. Congratulations. Thank you. That honestly is the most fun trailer I've seen in uh, the, the decade, if, oh. if that's okay. Yeah, that's me and that's, I want to have fun. So, first of all, I want to ask you a personal question, if that's okay, AP. Sure. Which is, can, when can I raid Bay's closet? <gasps> hmm, never. <laughs> Thank you so much. But jokes aside, I want to ask you how, okay, tell us everything about getting into the skin of the character and becoming Bay. 
it was actually a lot of fun. It was actually my most fun character, but also my most challenging at the same time. It's the first time that I'm doing a long format series. And the advantage of that is that you get to go so into every character. You know, with films, you only have a couple of scenes. You can't really, you know, build up a backstory that much. But with a long format, you get to do that. And I really have Karan and Colin to thank for this one. They're the OG base for me. Everything that I've done in the show is thanks to them. And the whole team, the cast, I'm only reacting to everything they're doing. The crew, the dialogue, the way it's written. It was just so much fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. To do. It looked like you were having a blast and becoming Bay should have been so much fun. But I do want to ask you, in the trailer, there was something that you were doing. It's, it looked like you were manifesting, right? Mm -hmm. It's like the Bay mantra. So yes. I think a lot of us can do with a little bit of Bay in our lives. So if you would please take me through that mantra, it would be amazing. Okay. Uh, let's do this one. Okay. Main hu awesome. Main hu awesome. Main hu flossom. Main hu flossom. I'm here to slay. I'm here to slay. Chalo, let's seize the day. Chalo, let's seize the day. Okay, we're all going to do it together. Okay, are you ready? I promise you'll feel better after this. Komal, okay? I want you to do this with me. Okay, Sare there you are. Sare paps ko sabse loudly bolna hai, theek hai? Okay, hamare baat bol ye AP after you. We'll okay. all repeat. Okay. okay. Main hu awesome. Main hu awesome. Main hu flossom. I'm here to slay. Chalo, it's time to seize the day. We're going to do this every morning. This is amazing. I it feel helps. Good. It helps. I feel better already. Thank you. Exactly. Thank you for that. And now, of course, you, as you mentioned, your friends who were with you on this show, and they're all sitting right here. So can we please invite on the stage Hamari Mazidar cast, Gur Fateh Pirzada, Lisa Mishra, Neharika Lyra Dutt, Varun Sood and Vihan Samad. I'm missing Veer Das, I'm missing Mini Mathur, I'm missing Muskan Jafri. Ah, oh, there they are. You guys look like I want to be part of this gang, guys. This is so cute. You can Aww. sit with us. Oh, thank you. So cute. And now, of course, let's welcome back on stage Nikhil Madok, Karan Johar, Somain Mishra, and Colin Dakuna. Thank you. The amount of fun we've had watching this trailer, I, I don't know, like, what can I say except that you were having a lot of fun. I was. We all were. We all were having a yeah. blast. Yeah. yeah. And but. we don't know yet who's doing what, really. <laughs> what, really? Yeah? yeah. yeah. We're all playing musical chairs. You know, this is Gur Fateh's chair. <laughs> that is Varun's chair. Yes. Woo! All okay? Great. Wow, guys, this is it. It's quite nice. I want to start off by saying it's not often that you have such a lovely show of strength. And it's so nice of everyone to be thoughtful and have everybody on the stage. So, can we please give them a round of applause? Call me Bay. And I know all of you have lots of questions, but before that, please allow me. Karan, I'm going to start with you. You know, some time ago we spoke about characters and how audiences fall in love with all of those characters that you created. And I'm going to name a couple of them because, I mean, they're part of my life. Whether it's Rahul, whether it's Anjali, whether it's Fu for example. She coming up. So I think if Rohan Raichand and uh, Pooja Raichand now would have had to have a baby girl, she would be Bay. She would be Bay, uh, and uh, those characters, right? Not 
not not not not just referring to anyone's age in the moment uh, i'm just talking because bay really is a glorious gen z 2.0 derivative of poo so you know she is really like where poo ends bay takes off love so that's it. the best way that i can describe uh, because even when you saw the character of uh, of poo you know it, it started with all the fun and games and then of course she contributes to the emotional gravitas of the ongoings in kabhi khushi kabhi gham similarly while you might look at the show and have an outer perspective that it's fun and it's cool and it's hip and it's fashionable but it's saying a lot and i think full credit to ishita moitra who is the creator of the show along with her glorious team both rohit and samina who have given all the fun the needed and required gravitas what a trailer i think it's so sharp and if that was that sharp in the trailer i can't wait for the show thank you karan for talking to me let's take this to colin colin they were right when they said that poster should have had you okay so congratulations it's so special thank you, thank you. i do want to ask you you can't tell us much but tell us tell me one thing uh, that's outside of this trailer that nobody knows uh i can tell you one thing that you know that nobody else knows is that uh, rohini has done a small cameo in the show <laughs> so she's actually there thank your you. voice at least thank you as ro talks um but you know um like ansa said the trailer is fun and hip and fashionable and speaks of um base journey but um aapne dekha hoga ki trailer ke ek point pe she becomes a journalist and asli story wahan se shuru hoti hai what she does in her own way and the dhamaka that she creates in her own way is what the show is about that's lovely but why have i become so no i was just giving you i was giving you I the respect you, you deserve please no not at all when please. you said 23 years and all i was like a very young millennial stroke no, no. gen z actually class. now I just you want can't. to belong yeah now you can i just want to sitting sir. next to ananya pande i don't want to be anyone sir sorry karan 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 <laughs> well thank you don't do that <laughs> it's just just if i can call him karan i think most of us can yes yes thank you karan gurupati the next one is for you Congratulations. Thank you. Thank I you. I do want to ask you what what was your reaction when you started reading the script? Uh I think the script uh it came at a time the show came at a time when I was pretty down and out and uh, all thanks to Karan sir and uh, uh Karan and Colin <laughs> that uh, they thought of me uh for this character Neil and uh, I think it's very different from anything that I've done and uh, it was fun it was it was exactly what I needed at that time and I can see the fruit coming out and it's it's completely great and i hope everyone else likes it too yeah i'm going to take skin care tips from you later <laughs> to ask you how that shine happens okay, on stage that. but for right now i'll let that was pass was that a flirting comment <laughs> i'm not uh, i'm i'm you're really taking the opening <laughs> uh, opening <laughs> affirmation seriously seriously yeah. I i'm am awesome i'm awesome you're for the you're really seizing the day dude this yeah. is this is my moment thank you thank you for that all right no i just can't you, you sit here karan and you look at that and you can't i'm here just it. to pep things up yeah, i got you. paid for that <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to take this to Ananya. Ananya, recently, uh, you said somewhere that there are shades of Clueless, which is one of our favorite films ever. Shit's Creek, and even some Nancy Drew in Bay. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about that? I think what I meant by that is that it's an amalgamation of all these like chick flick kind of movies that I love growing up. Growing up, there was obviously, you know, Poo is iconic. I literally dressed up as Poo two years ago. Like even now at 23, I'm dressing up like Poo. She, I have like all her quotes on my mirror and everything. So she's really left a print on me. And it's like a mix of Shit's Creek, Clueless, Aisha, Nancy Drew. All these fun shows that I don't think you know we're really getting to watch right now. It's the kind of show that I'd love to watch. It's very light. It's young adult. It's happy. It's fun. And even though Bay has a like a bit of all of these characters, she's like fully her own person. She's I don't even know how to describe her. Like people are dis like describe Bay, and I'm just like I just do this. Like I don't have words. She just is all actions, and she's all heart, and she's a lot of fun. So I hope people love her as much as I did. No, I absolutely love it because there's a point where I'm like, where does Ananya stop and where does Bay start? In all those good ways. So congratulations on that, Bihan. Bihan. Hi. Hi. Thanks. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks so for having me. So I'm just guessing that you're Bay's beau in the series. Yes. Lucky man. Thank you. Rich man. <laughs> yes. What else can you tell us? <laughs> um he's a very self-assured, confident, wealthy uh guy from Delhi. Um 
they are set to be, they, they are married and uh, they are going through life together. And then as a lot of people experience in their own lives, there's a difference in people and they encounter resistance and there is a certain lack of maybe attention that is given to the other person. And then we explore how that unfolds. And for me, I just really enjoy playing it because it's, he's a very self-assured, confident, commanding sort of person. I've played more endearing and sweeter sort of people before. So I just was really excited when I read this character and Colin was talking to me about Agastya. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and congratulations. I'm going to take this to Niharika. I hope you have a mic with you. Niharika, we've seen you in the theater. You've been fantastic. And I remember you playing a journalist in Pata Lok. So, you know, just took me back to that for a second. Are you but saying I'm being typecast, Rohini? Not at all. You're right. <laughs> You're <laughs> absolutely right. I have a feeling that these two journals are completely different. And it'll be absolutely. great if you can tell yeah. us how. I mean, um, Pata Lok is a more like gritty universe, uh, Amazon Prime. And like, I mean, there's crime. It's like really dramatic. And this is a dharmatic Kejo universe. So it's like Sarah Matthews and Tamara Pawar are on completely different fields, doing very different things. Um, I think Sarah, for Sarah Matthews, being a journalist was front and center to her identity. Um, and I'm really excited for people to watch this because there's so much more that Tamara is sort of experiencing and Bay introduces her to like a completely new world. And I think her trajectory is more than just being a journalist. Um, it's like a fun journey. I won't say much more. Yeah, and we saw you reprimanding her for dropping something on that question. Yeah, she also has a little bit of like OCD and all of that. Nice. Which she's dealing with, you know, nice. like mental health issues. Yeah, at that point, you reminded me of my mother. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Call my mother. All right. Uh, so, Min, this next one is for you. So, you're someone who's very familiar with changing trends and patterns of how content is consumed. But where do you think Call Me Bay fits in and what do you want viewers to take away from this series? So our idea was to do a fun show, I think fun. Uh, we are not uh, seeing so many shows, either we are seeing murder and crime, and I mean, which everyone loves it, but also fun shows and a lot of romance, which is the core strength of uh, dharma. Uh, so that was the starting point, but also it talks about very serious issues, but not in a serious way, uh, which is not there in the trailer, people will uh, uh, discover. I think Bay is doing to journalism what most journalists are not doing right now. <laughs> I know it's a serious statement, but you will see as we see the show what I'm talking about. And thanks to the writers, I mean, Ishita, Rohit, Samina, and then Colin taking it over, and from um, the Amazon team, Perna, Aparna, Nikhil, we have got a full support to go the route that we picked up. So there's more to Bay that we are watching, but this is a fun show also, but there's much more to it, I'll say. Well, thank you so much. Get us in with the fun and then slam us with the emotions. So dharma, guys. So dharma. Thank you. All right. I'm going to take this to Lisa. Lisa, I remember that post you put up. It was so emotional about how yes. you got a chance to actually That's make this. That's just me all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your acting debut. How does, you know, do you want to tell us about it in case we've missed yeah. that post? Yeah. So this is my first uh, um, on screen as an actor. And uh, it's, I mean, I think it's just really humbling to have debuted on a series from Karan and Prime combined. These are like dream come true moments, I think, for many of us sitting on stage who get to work in, in these spaces. But for me, coming from the other side of the world and ending up in a space like this is just absolutely unheard of in my own head. Um, so dream big, because it might all just work out. So it's been, it's been amazing, I think. Um, I have to say the biggest thank you to Colin for being the first like long format director I've had and he just really made it a very pleasant and easy experience for me and really have to say thanks to Ananya because she remembered all of our lines for us. <laughs> so every time anyone forgot she would jump in and tell us what our line was. <laughs> So amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that. Nikhil, I'm going to take this with you. Yeah, thank you. I hope you have a mic with you. Call Me Bay seems like such an interesting and refreshing show. Tell us what prompted you to back it. So, you know, sometimes uh, when you're hearing an idea or a pitch, something just jumps at you and hooks you. Uh, and in my experience, it doesn't happen every time. It happens very rarely. And it definitely happened at Call, in Call Me Bay. And specifically linked to how Bay's character has been written and, their, and the journey. And I really wanted to uh, call out the writing for this series, uh, Ishita, Rohit, uh, Samina here. The writing really elevates this show. And it is very sharp, 
It is very self-aware. It doesn't hold back. When you see the show, uh, you'll come to know what I'm uh, saying. So all credit to the three of them for doing such a fantastic job. And when they spoke about it, it just popped for us. Uh, and we said, let's go for it. Thank you so much, Nikhil. Varun, thank you for I... being patient, first of all. Uh, sorry I came to you last, but going by the trailer, it looks like you guys had an absolute blast. Now, none of them have told us anything except Lisa, who said when we forgot lines, it was Ananya to the rescue. Do you have one such nugget that you'd like to share with us? I think this show made me realize that I'm a funny guy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Initially, it was me and my mom who realized it, and now I think uh, it's more of a self-realization that I, I, I am a funny guy. Uh, so I think, uh, and everybody on the set discovered that stand-up comedy within themselves because we were just cracking jokes all the time and uh, I don't think there was any sad moment on the set ever. Uh, there are times where you're shooting for a show and you want to go back home and maybe not come back the next day. This show wasn't that. We were waiting to come back every single day. I still remember I'm still having withdrawals that the show got over. I genuinely can't wait for season two to start already. Love it. You just called it. Well done. <laughs> Pressure. <laughs> Season two has to happen. Okay, guys? But thank you, everybody, for answering all my questions. I'm super curious about the show, and I can't wait for it to drop on the 6th of September. But for right now, mics will magically appear to you if you have a question. Don't forget to direct your question to somebody first on the panel, and then, of course, go ahead with your question. Do we have the first one? Yes, ma'am. A mic will come to you. Uh, hi, Nikhil. Straight. This is Vinamro from First Post. So I wanted to ask you that the show looks really stylish. The palette is huge. So is this an attempt to gauge an international audience and what are the kind of responses you are expecting? Sure. Thanks for the question. Uh, you know, today, uh, all the shows that we put out, roughly about 25% uh, of the viewership uh, for all our shows comes from outside the country. So the uh, Indian content is really traveling across the world. We are seeing it with every uh, single launch. Uh, this one, I feel there are two advantages. One, it's, you know, as some people said before on the panel, it, it's really glossy, it's really glamorous, very well put together, international. Um, that has appeal in itself. But at the same time, it's also a show which has a lot of honesty. We're saying something which is uh, emotional but without being preachy. And I think that emotion and the hustle that all these characters go through, most people will look at it and say, hey, you know, I've, I've seen that happening or I've experienced that in some way. And that's what's going to make it relatable. So I feel it's an international quality project which will travel across the world, but also the emotions and what it's trying to say is what's going to make it relatable, uh, hopefully to millions of people across the globe. That's our attempt. Thank you, Vinamra. Thank you, Nikhil. Our next question. Hi. I'm Namita Sajdev from Filmi. Hello, everyone. Congratulations. And first of all, I want to say congratulate you all, firstly. The show is looking really happening. So can we have a big round of applause for all of them sitting there? So yes. My first question goes to you, Ananya. When was the last time you had the rickshaw ride? And the first time ever, if I talk about. Uh, <laughs> um, I, my dad and me, we share a car sometimes. So when he takes the car away, then I go to my Katha class and stuff in a rickshaw. I do sit. I know that there are no seat belts in a rickshaw. So recently, only I sat in a rickshaw. I think like a month or something ago. Uh, and the first time I must have sat was like in school, like when I was like ten or twelve or something. Oh wow, that's interesting. Now we also know that there is no seat belt in a rickshaw. Well, thank you so much, Ananya. My next question goes to you, Gurfate. So we have seen you in different characters. How this character would be different, and how were you approached for this one? Uh, thank you for the question. I think. Uh, it is different because, uh, like, I've not necessarily, but that's been the public uh, opinion that I've played very dark and like negative characters. But I mean, we try to be the good guy, and I think this is my attempt at being the good guy and like uh, happy and uh, positive. So I hope I hope that comes across. And uh, yeah, I hope to do much more positive characters in life and not just be the bad guy. Thank you, Namita, and thank you, Gurfate and Ananya. Could you have the next question, Varun? please? Varun, Lipika here. How are you doing? Good, good. How are you doing, Varun? Oh, sorry, for me. I'm, I'm yeah. doing good. How are you? Based. <laughs> anyway, uh, how much do you relate with this character, and wh uh, uh, what similarities do you find in your real self and on your real self? Uh, so with Prince, I do relate a lot. 
uh, a little too much. <laughs> uh, Prince is a guy who makes people happy. He does things for people so that they have a comfortable life. He's a people's person, and I think I'm like that. And he's a proper Delhi guy, uh, which is me to the core. Um, he likes to go to the gym. He's a techie, which is also me. And uh, I just had fun amplifying every trait in me that was about Prince. So uh, yeah, I really enjoyed doing the character. Also, Prince cooks really well. Yes, and, and I do bake. Uh, Varun bakes incredibly. Limited orders only. Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much. Who's next? Uh, hi, Pooja Navathe here from Filmy Gyan. My question is to Niharika. Hi. hi. Uh, so what are you more excited for the audience to see in Call Me Babe? The most excited for, I think, um, the friendship between the girls um, and the and the pad that they occupy and, and basically that madhouse that it becomes. Um, I hope I'm not giving too much away, but I think the friendship between the girls is something that, that's really sweet and I think Colin has really nicely tapped into that and allowed a lot of um, unnatural chemistry to get into the show. And so I'm, I'm excited for the audience to see that. Thank you, Niharika. The mic's coming to you, ma'am. Just give us a second. Thank you. Right behind you. Thank you. Karan ji, first of all, you have to tell us how our film, which is our country's film, has so much of a good value in Australia. So, I want to tell you first of all. Thank you. Thank you. The second thing is that the OTT channels are on every kind of content. अभी मेरे एक साथी ने पूछा कि इंटरनेशनली इसको किस तरह से हम पोट्रे करेंगे आगे तो उसी पर मेरा ये सवाल है कि जो कंटेंट की अगर हम बात करें तो पंचायत या फिर मिर्जापुर इस तरह की चीजें भी हमारे देश में काफी पसंद की जाती हैं तो उस बेस पे अगर हम बात करें तो जैसे ये जर्नलिस्ट बनेंगी तो क्या हमें उस त चीज भी मिलेगी धारदार जर्नलिज्म या उस तरह की बातें हमारे को मिलेंगी आपके शो के थ्रू देखिए आई थिंक जो बे का जो सफर है और जिस तरह यू नो वो पेश आती है स्पेशली क्लोजिंग एक्ट्स में टुवर्ड्स द एंड और जब आप ये शो को जैसे मैंने पहले ही कहा था कि जब आप शो को दूर के नजर से अगर देखो तो ऐसा लगता है कि एंटरटेनिंग है ग्लॉसी ग्लैमरिस शो है लेकिन काफी वजनदार चीजें होती हैं शो में इस कैरेक्टर द्वारा और मैं ये नहीं कहूँगा कि ये कोई टेक्सबुक ऑन जर्नलिज्म वाली कोई शो है बस जरूर ये कहूँगा कि जो फिल्म जो शो की जो पॉलिटिक्स है जो वो हम कहना चाहते हैं जो कम्युनिकेशन है वो बहुत सही है और ये देश विदेश हर जो हर कोई रिलेट कर पाएगा मुझे लगता है जो मुद्दा है शो का फाइनली जो मुद्दा खुलता है तो वो मुद्दा आई थिंक हर कोई रिलेट कर पाएगा चाहे वो हमारे देश के हो या विदेश के हो तो आई डेफिनेटली थिंक इट्स अ शो विथ एब्सोल्युटली यूनिवर्सल अपील एंड विथ अ मैसेज थैंक यू फॉर योर क्वेश्चन एंड थैंक यू कारा दिस इज नवाज कोचरा एंड विहान आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन फॉर यू यर हाय हाय so you know we've seen that you've been on a role for quite some time especially on the ott space you've been playing some very good characters but right now the ott space is you know very interesting as an actor i want to first understand that you know what are the challenges or are there any challenges you face when there are so many actors involved in a show and you particularly have to stand out there is a fear of typecast also at times and what was so different about call me bay that you decided to associate with it so on typecasting, thank you for the question, first of all. On typecasting, I think it's my personal effort to always play things that challenge me a little bit and maybe even scare me a little bit. Uh, as I said, this is something I've not done before. I've not played a character who's uh, so confident and self-assured and brash and sometimes even a bit narcissistic. So that really excited me. On, in terms of standing out uh, in a cast, in a huge cast, that was never really my main focus. Um, I think my thing was... I'm an actor, I want to go in and do my job as best as I can and the reality and the truth will come through and it will connect to people if I'm, if I'm doing my job well. And if I need to stand out, I'll stand out. If I haven't stood out, then maybe I need to do my job better and just connect more deeply with the character. Thank you, Nawaz, and thank you, Vihan. We'll take our next question. Uh, first of all, hello everyone, Shweta here. 
uh, congratulations for your upcoming series, Call Me Bay. My question is to uh, Lisa Mishra. Lisa, we just saw the glimpse of um, Mumbai Hustle. So what are your thoughts on this? Uh, and have you contributed to the soundtrack of this series? I think the song is amazing. Can we get a little round of applause for the performance earlier too? Yeah, it was amazing. Um, I think it captures the, the space of the show and you know the, the hustle that Bay is going through, uh, trying to survive in a big city and have a job for the first time. Um, I have contributed music to the show uh, with my two friends and co-composers, Ruel and Joash uh, Benedict, who are here. And uh, they, they're excellent. They've done the background score as well for the series. Uh, very, very hardworking, incredible people. And um, I have a song that comes in at a very pivotal moment of the show, which I can't tell you right now. But I think our, we all really love singing it. So once you hear it, uh, you can join us in, in singing this song as well. <laughs> Would you sing us a couple of lines? Am I allowed to? Yeah. Am please, I allowed to? Please, please, please. Oh, Come okay. on, Amazon, yes, please. Tere bina main jaau kaha Itil tera hai Dekho zara, dekho zara Main gar di dut khab mera Suni seher tu shab mera Tu na ho to kya kaam mera Tu hi bata Tere ye jo yaade Sata hai upon I Tere ye jo yaade Tere bina mein I'll leave you with that. That is amazing. And thank you for the prompting because this was completely unplanned. And can I please tell you, ye bilkul plan nahi tha. And if that's what you sound like, I'm lucky I remember on the point. Words. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, thank you. This is awesome. Can we have our next question, please? Uh, hello, hi. Uh, this is Kunal here from IWM Buzz. Uh, my question is directed to Colin and Ananya both. Um, you know, when characters like this are presented, you know, there's always a perception that, you know, uh, the gloss and the idea of having a character which is probably infamously told, considered as blonde and, you know, a, probably a bimbet. And that is the perception that takes over what the emotional gravitas of the show is, right? So, um, it, was there something specific that you made sure as the director and you, Ananya, as the actor, to never veer into that territory too much so that that doesn't become the, you know, holding emotion? Um, you know, I think it's, they're very interesting characters. So I don't think that the perception or uh, we're trying to sort of project uh, a character as being blonde. But I think there is a slight like wink and, uh, like a wink and nudge at privilege, you know, and um, having someone who's grown up in a so-called bubble, how does she, when she has to face the harsh reality, not even the harsh reality, the reality of the world, you know, her first job, she's grown up in complete luxury, what does it mean to actually come to Bombay and hustle? I think it's an emotion that so many people will relate to, coming, renting an apartment, going to work, traveling by rickshaw, you know, uh, all of these things. But the view, the worldview is very different. Like if, if they, you know, so she may say a few odd things like, oh, are there seat belts? But she's coming from her worldview where, oh my God, seat belts mean safety. And rickshaw mein itne jhatke lagte hai, matlab seat belt kyun nahi hai? So it's something to think about actually. But you know, <laughs> but so, so it's, it's just sweet moments like that. But what actually drew me to this character is um, that she has a complete positive outlook to life. You know, her... Um, she will view everything um, and take take the positives out of it. And I think that's something that we see in her journey. And uh, it's actually an underdog story of someone who's privileged. Yeah. Anything you'd like to add, Ananya? 
Yeah, I think Colin answered that question about our take on privilege really well. But also, I think as a character, I never made fun of Bay, even though she was saying really silly things. Like there's one scene where she's talking to a fridge and she's trying to get the fridge to answer back to her. And I remember everyone in the in like the table read was like, "What is she doing?" But I went with it. I completely, you know, believed what she was doing. And I think that's the most important: not to judge her as a character and do everything with honesty. And as Colin said, she's a very positive girl, even though many people would have judged her and. Do judge her, and are probably saying that she's a blonde, or she doesn't know this, she doesn't know that. I think the best quality of hers is that she doesn't judge people back, and she's always she keeps saying that kindness is cool, and she never changes as a person. Even once she transforms and all these things happen to her in life, she stays that good-hearted, nice person. So I would say don't judge a book by a cover in the show as well as in real life, and I think that's a lesson we can all take from Bay. Thank also you for your question. Fridge scene will be in the deleted scenes. Yeah, it's in the deleted <laughs> scenes, so I could say that. Hi, hi, Ananya. My question is to you, Samina here from hi, Zoom hi. Channel. Hi, how are you doing? Good. So I have to ask you this: that you know, there was a point in life where you said like there is struggle, and it became a meme material completely. Uh, but still, like you said, that you have your own struggles. You know, whenever it comes to the industry, being a part of the you know industry world. What is that one thing which you struggle the most while trying to make a mark for yourself in the world of glamour? You know, honestly, firstly, we've made fun of that line, honestly, ourselves. We've kind of owned up to it. And it's, I said it so long back. I said it five years ago. I really struggle with answering this question now. Honestly, I'm done with that. Um, but I think I'm just trying to, like, keep my head down, work, and I hope people like my work. And there's no struggle. I'm doing fine only. <laughs> Thank you so much for your questions. It was such a fun Q&A, guys. Thank you for turning up in such wonderful numbers. We really look forward to your support. Take Bay to where she deserves. For right now, of course, I'd like to thank each and every one of you as we get off the chairs and the chairs will magically leave the <laughs> stage. I'm going to call upon the creator of the series and that is Ishita Moitra to join us on the stage. Ishita, we've all just spoken of you all the time. Now it's time for you to join us and... Thank you so much, Ishita. Would you kindly, a round of applause for Ishita and of course, two other names that have been mentioned more than once and that is Samina and Rohit. Could you kindly join us as well on the stage? Thank you. And that is Team Call Me Bay. Don't forget on the 6th of September dropping on Prime Video across 240 plus countries and territories across the world. I stay on stage because I want to roll in something. The baggage has to be part of Bay's life. Can I get the baggage? Yeah? Okay. So thank you so much. Get the baggage because what is a girl without some of it? Come on. Ananya, you get to actually choose how you want to pose with this. If I were you, I would actually sit on that, but I may not be, I may not be that light.
don't forget to stay awesome, flossom. And of course, don't forget to slay, seize the day. September 6th, call me pay, only on Prime Video.